Did you knock him? So if we had just learned that Fatality got knocked on the loser's bracket on last round. Now it seems like that is going to be the ultimate success for uh, Fatality over here as he moves on to play his heart. We just got a little hand warmers right now. Flame and Roy and Jump are gonna be up. And, uh, Flame and Roy, as we said earlier, very technical fox from melee. Bring him over to PM and see what he can do. And he can do a lot, but he's not bad about that. When it comes to fox, it's almost as if they copy pasted it from melee in some aspects. Yeah. So, I mean, when it comes to playing this game, even the, some of the timings are quicker. Now, he received a few nerfs, but. He's still an extremely strong character. Right. And going against Ganondorf, who's received fairly significant reworks from melee. Well, so we are going into this match trying to figure out where we're going to go. <laughs> yep. Now, what kind of stage do you think that Ganondorf would prefer against the Fox? Now, when it comes to Ganondorf, he definitely wants his space. When it comes to Ganondorf, he wants to get those spares. He, want to get, he wants to pull Fox out. So I feel like a stage with a larger, like, bottom level, like PS2, would do him well, considering he can back away. Yep, and now we're going into PS2, just like he meant. And let's see how this starts. So in my, in my personal experience, Gandor, I feel, is going to want to take the neutral game. He's going to want to back up and get pressure off of him so he can get some nice spares, he can get some nice command grabs, some nice down bees. You know, I forget what he calls the kick. But, uh, I believe it's Wizard's Foot. I uh, believe like that. Yep. Uh, so, but it seems like Flame Roy is doing a great job keeping pressure on that Gandor and taking advantage of giving him off the stage of that giant Again, wave shining all the way across the stage, finishing up with that smash. Heart, it hurts. It's watching me. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry. Now that is escapable with good SDI, but that is not the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Getting going for this fight, this way. Anyway, just keep it too much pressure. Chuck is DIing as best as he can, but Fox just has the tools to follow. They say he's just a little bit of lag and instantly punishes. Exactly. Chuck not being able to get anything out with Fox staying so close to Ganondorf. Now Ganondorf will want a lot of well-spaced bears and uh, general tools to deal high damage very, very safely, but that's not very possible with uh, Fox being right on top of him. We also see him missing a lot of the L cancels. I don't know if he's tripping up a little bit. To be honest with you, I would be. <laughs> In this kind of matchup with the type of pressure that Flaming Roy is going towards, I, I would not doubt that his hands are shaking a little bit. Not quite sure what happened there. Our video had a little bit of lag. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Daniel trying to get that jab reset, but that jab's a bit too strong for that to work. Exactly. Ooh, Fox doing a great job with up tilt, staying on top, keeping Ganondorf up in the air. Just trying to face the spares in the down, the spares and down, his down air, but just he's using them as much as he can, especially with the high pressure. And the flame boy is seeing it and taking advantage of it every time. We're missing a stage check, but not, Fox not getting covered. Wizard's foot though will take it. Some yeah, bad SCI from Flaming Roy puts it too far you, off stage. And as you saw, Flaming Roy went high. Flaming Roy was on. He's really feeling this match right here. Here I come. Uh, tell me again. Here I come. <laughs> Ooh, missing the tag, but jumped up to get away from him. Okay. The sour a spot of the up smash does Man, take it. Oh, 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 Never gave Jeff any chance to. Really even move. Not at all. 
Now, now the small moments I did see in this movie, if you notice his wavelands and his movement with games are absolutely cool. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see more of it, but he doesn't know if Clayton Roy will give us much of a chance, honestly. We just want to see the man play. <laughs> Jump really trying to get that command grab to start off this game, but Clayton Roy is putting too much pressure on top of him. No, that side beat jab combo is guaranteed as long as they don't tag. But player of Flame and Roy's caliber, he's he's gonna be on point. Oh, he's he misses tried, the edge guard. Tried to read on which platform he would go into, but just wasn't quite able to do it. Flame and Roy doing a great job of waiting out that spin that uh excuse me, that shield. I picked the smaller stage hoping the games wouldn't matter as much because he'd be able to kill Fox pretty early, but nonetheless. Stock behind, certainly doable. Game's not over yet. A couple of mistakes can miss the attack chase, hand grab, and Andrew finally getting grabbed into the up air. Will he get another up air? Oh, I'll oh, take it. Absolutely stunning performance by Flame and Roy. He is going to go far. Oh, I'm curious to see how we will take him out. If anyone is that. Now, he is one of the best melee players in the state, so maybe someone else from his crew can take him out, though. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to know what he's, what he's bad at. 